So guys, I've been looking at talking more about coins on my channel. Coins that I've decided to invest in, coins that I've read about, which I think you will find useful, coins that I'm mining, and coins which I think you guys might look into mining. So the coin I want to talk about today is Ravencoin, and it pretty much meets all those requirements that I just mentioned above. It's a very interesting coin, and it's a very new coin, so if you look at the website here, there is not a lot of information about it. This coin was announced pretty much two months to the day um, on Bitcoin Talk. And, you know, I'll link to this so you guys can read it. I don't want to bore you too much with these kind of details in the video. Uh, on the homepage here, you can see there's a link to Medium, all the social media groups, etc. This is the article and also links to the white paper. Now, the white paper is, well, there's not much to it. It's like four or five pages long. But you can see one of the major uh, features of this coin. It is designed to be resistant to ASIC miners. So that is a very, very good thing. Um, you know, if, if ASIC miners, what they tend to do is centralize wealth because the, the, only the people with those machines can really mine those coins. Whereas GPU, you know, GPU mining tends to spread it around a little bit better. Um, now, this is designed to be ASIC resistant. And the way they do that is by switching the algorithm and, you know, the X16R hashing algorithm, as they call it here, has 16 different algorithms. You can see them there, Blake, BMW, Skyne, Whirlpool, they're all there. And when you're mining, it actually switches between them a lot. So it's, it spends a, a relative amount of time here. You can see in the graph in each algorithm. And this makes it very, very difficult for an ASIC miner to actually mine because ASIC miners by their design are designed to only mine one algorithm and be very good at it. So that is a very good feature of it and it's, it's one that I think attracts a lot of GPU miners because you don't want to spend a lot of time investing in a coin only for ASIC miners to then get involved and then you know you can't mine it anymore. Now as far as what's going to happen in the future I don't know it's, it, as I say this is you know two months later uh, from when it got launched it, it's still quite early and you know, it could be months before anything significant happens but from what I've heard the, these guys are at university I don't know if they're you know um, you know, in their first degree or whether they're doing a PhD I'm not sure but one of the things that's got a lot of people talking about it is the fact that the Overstock CEO Patrick Byrne has got behind it and he's pumped a lot of money into it he's pumped a few million um, as you can see by the headline here he compares it to Bitcoin now, this is quite significant and I got a lot of people interested because this guy knows what he's talking about. He's been involved in cryptocurrency for years and as the article says here, his, uh, his shop was one of the first major retailers to accept Bitcoin back in 2014. This is someone who knows cryptocurrency and it's uh, he's someone who's decided to get behind Ravencoin. That's got a lot of people talking. So, from a mining point of view, is it worthwhile? Um... It is at the moment, yes it is, but that could change very, very quickly. I've only been mining for three days or so now, um, three and a half days. Um, and to mine it, if I can bring up my window, here we go. So this is awesome miner, and to mine it, um, you do need to change your GPU settings because before, you know, I've got 24 1060s, I've got 6 1080Ti's, and they were all optimized uh, for either Equihash or for Ethereum, and you know, I can change the profiles around depending on which coin I was, I was mining. But this algorithm, this coin is different, you know, 16 different algorithms. It means that you can't really um, overclock it as well as you could another um, algorithm. So before I tweaked the core settings and the memory settings and all that for one algorithm, for example, Equihash. But this one's got 16. So my 1080i's never crashed, but my 1060's were crashing all the time. Now, you can see just now, this is 13.48 uh, mega hashes. My 1080i's will go as low as 12 and go as high as, say, 19. Uh, and this is because it's switching between the different algorithms. So my hash rate will depend on the algorithm that it's mining at that particular point. Now, there is uh, a tweet that you'll see on the homepage here, this one here, by The Raven. And Quoth The Raven, he's got... The, um, a kind of table here. Now this is about four days old, but it does give you an indication of how many coins you can mine per second. I'm mining with my setup 
about 1500, 1600. Now, but you know, a few days ago when I started mining, I looked at the numbers and I think I was making maybe 20% more uh, or maybe 30% more than mining Zcash. And, you know, that's quite a significant amount for a miner. But over the last few days, the price has dropped. But the price has dropped in all coins, you know, right now. But the price has dropped over the last few days. You can see it was a little bit higher just now uh, over the, here. But right now it's at about 2.5 cents, 288 Satoshis. So... It's, it's not an expensive coin, so the reason I'm telling you this is look, you have to set it up yourself and test it. You'll have to look at the numbers if you want to mine this, but um, you're going to have to test it, see how many Raven coins you get per day, per hour, or whatever. Look at the, the current price and then see whether it's worthwhile mining it or whether it's better to mine Ethereum or Zcash or whatever, because what you could do is mine those coins, sell it, and then go to the crypto bridge where this is listed and buy it so right now i think it's a very fine line between whether it's better to buy or mine so you're going to have to crunch the numbers yourself depending on what um what equipment you've got which gpus you've got as far as i'm concerned this is still a speculative coin um i mean it has to be there's there's pretty much no information on the website about what their road plan is over the next year or so. But I must admit, I have been encouraged by a few re uh, for a few reasons. Uh, I was invited to the group initially, but I didn't really pay attention in the Discord group. But when I decided to mine, I started asking, I followed a guide provided by, I think, Mrs. Deleste, I think the username is. And I followed the guide to set up CC Miner for it through Awesome Miner. And I couldn't get it working. But they sat with me for like 20 30 minutes troubleshooting exactly what could be wrong and eventually i got it working and within an hour or two i realized there was a lot of people there in the community trying to help each other and that and you know i've spoken this before but the community behind the coin and the development team behind the coin are very very important and my first my first impressions after hanging out in the discord group for a few days is very very positive so that is a good thing that i, I think paints a very good impression of Ravencoin uh, and also you know the Overstock CEO getting behind it but um, the other thing would obviously be the 16 different algorithms I think that's a very good thing to exclude async miners but I do think it's still a speculative coin there was a few people who are mining it over the last few weeks and the difficulty was very low so they were getting a huge amount of coins and then they were selling so they obviously made a lot of money but the way that I'm looking at it I'm not mining these coins to sell right away I'm mining these coins and then I'm just going to hold them for months or a year and then I'm going to see what happens. I'm not looking to mine these just now and get another coin because I think if I was going to just cash out any benefit I have of mining this coin over other coins, when you add in the transaction fees and all that, I'd, you know, you start wearing away your, your margins, you start uh, cutting into them. So I, I've been mining the coin, I don't know when I'll stop mining it or whether I will. Uh, stop mining i'm going to keep reviewing it with the difficulty with the price etc but as a speculative coin because of the price of it if you can pick up a few thousand of these coins you know if it did go up to 50 cents or a, a dollar or something like that later on down the line then you've obviously made a lot of money but this is cryptocurrency there is no guarantee and i am certainly not someone that's going to sit here and say put your money behind it this is your guarantee it's going to make money i don't know all, all i'm doing just now is spreading my risk and i'm, I'm trying to build a portfolio of lots of coins that I think look good. And this is a coin I think looks good. I think, you know, I don't we don't know too much about it, but there's a lot of talk about it. And the algorithm and all that's a very good idea. And the community seems very good. So for me, at this point, it seems like a, a good speculative coin. But until we see what's happening with the roadmap, until we see, you know, how what other exchanges it's going to be involved in and all that, it's going to remain a speculative coin until then. But check it out, guys. I'll link to the website. All, all the, the pages here that you see, I will link to them below in the description area and you can check them out for yourself. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. And stay tuned. I will try and do more videos like this in the future. Coins that I think that are worth mining. Coins that I think are worth perhaps picking up a few coins. But I never want to be one of those guys that say, definitely buy this coin, definitely buy this coin. There's always risk in cryptocurrency. And what I'd like to do in my channel is just look at the facts and then from there we can make educated guesses. But please do check out Raven Coin. It looks like an interesting project. And yes, it's two months old, but you know, but the fact that they haven't really 
you know, put out the, the full white paper and the roadmap and all that yet. I would still say that this is ground zero. You're getting in on this coin very, very early. And if it does turn out to be a good coin, if it does go up in value, you might make a good chunk of change. Thanks for watching, guys. Please do leave a comment and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care.